I built my first application when I realized that I, I could actually use my knowledge of Java. I started investigating how I could build apps. And to be fair, back in the days, there were not as many resources as they are now, because now it's much easier to just go there, find how you can build an app through Code Labs, and you're able to build your first application. Amazingly enough, that application made me win actually the Grow with Google Scholarship because it was that application that helped me get in the program where I learned how to build applications professionally. For me to be accepted by the GDE program, I just cannot explain the feeling that I got. I was so happy because I knew now that I have that platform that I needed to keep sharing what I've learned and to keep sharing what I know and also to keep learning from others, which is something that we all do as GDEs. The GDE program is definitely a big boost to your career because I've seen my career skyrocket once I became a GDE because even at work, I'm given even more tasks now because they trust in me. Just having the certification that you're a GDE really helps you even when you're job seeking because you're an expert, right? And when you're applying for jobs, it's much easier because people will just say, hey, she's an expert, so let's give her a job. One thing that we need to acknowledge is that the GDE community definitely caters to the entire world because Android is worldwide and Android is everywhere, which means we, will, we have to be diverse. And that means being able to welcome anyone around the world who's willing to share and have proven that they're doing it already to join the program. I cannot think of a better way of being in the technical field other than teaching, because we are always learning as, as engineers, because our, our APIs or our software keep changing very rapidly. When I teach as a GDE, my knowledge stays fresh.